big shot that's gone all the way for six. And it looks like Park's under clearing. Right then, the focus will be on Australian batting now. How fit are they to challenge Pakistan and how dented are they mentally? It was assumed Australia would lose that test match. But what Australia was looking for was a test of character. Well, swept away fine. Kawaja's away with a nice boundary. Well, cut away nicely from Kawaja. Lovely batting. Well, that's a really classy shot. I'm actually trying to stay in the moment of the game because I was just trying to bat. I wasn't thinking, oh, I gotta, you know, we've got to survive for 150 overs. I'm just thinking I'm just going to bat normally here. If I do that for long enough, well enough in these conditions, that's how I'm going to survive. That will be the 50 for Usman Khawaja. So that'll be stumps here in Dubai. Australia, you'd think, have still got a lot of work to do tomorrow. It was all really positive chat. Shri Ram spoke to us. He started talking about how the pressure's all on Pakistan. Tomorrow, I think you've got a great chance to make those guys repent their decision not to put us in again. Everything is in our favour as I see it. The expectation for them to win the game is so much greater than it is for us to save it. You've just got to be trusting our plans and be able to execute. We've had a collapse for the last 26 games. No one's expecting us to hold on for a draw. So just changing the mindset of, of, yeah, the pressure is on them. What have we got to lose here? I like you thinking, I'd much rather be in our shoes than theirs for this test match. I like silver lining, that's good. Shreve, good work. And we've got plenty to play for. We've got so much we can gain, like we have for the first four days, not just for this five days of our life, but for the next month of our life, for the next six months of life, for the next five years of this test team. We've got plenty to play for tomorrow. We can take some really great stuff out of it. Australia get through the day? Well, it's going to be tough. I mean, it's as simple as that. Uh, you've got to be brutally honest. Yeah, I, I was pretty nervous. I was, I was hopeful. Um, not overly hopeful, because I, I know that the pitch was starting to spin a lot. Jay, I spoke really well that, that morning about, you know, this is another opportunity for this group to show Australia and show our fans what we're made of. If we can draw today, we can draw from anywhere. Whatever happens today, it's a great opportunity. The last four days have been a great opportunity. Today's another great opportunity for us, OK? And let's just fight, 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 fight. We talk about earning respect, making people proud, each other, everyone else. Just fight today, just fight everyone. When that little voice comes on in your mind, oh, a bit of pressure, or oh, I'm fucking a bit tired, or I'm going to get to No, 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 just fuck. Come on, no, 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 just fucking steal vault. Keep trust in your plan. It's a really important day for us. Right. Individually and as a team, as this team keeps building together. Right. I've never had issue batting a long time. I love batting. <laughs> I could bat all day. If I, if I could, I could bat all day the next day. I love it. That's fine. Just sliding down the leg side. Hedy and, and Uzi batted unbelievably well. It's a change of pace, but it's good enough for Kawaja and he gets it through. Got a strike early, Pakistan. 50 for Trevor said on debut. That's wonderful innings under pressure. I didn't go in trying any harder or, or worrying about results or anything. I knew that we had about a long period of time and I just wanted to do what it took for the team to try and get that result. He's a pretty stubborn character at times, was he? And you could just see that he that he wanted it desperately. Yeah. Swept nicely from Kawaja. Flicks it out in the deep. It's really hard to stay in the present and not think about what could happen later or what has happened in the past. It's so hard. That's that's the mental battle. Big shot. Kaja taking a little bit of risk, going against the spin. 
people like, oh, you know, you got to knuckle in, you got to bat long, you got to bat time. But I sort of figured out in my head, doing well on spinning wickets in county cricket and throughout the last couple of years, that if I bat normally and keep that same tempo, that's giving myself the best chance to bat for a long time. It was a big shift from what everyone was trying to tell me at the time. And this time I was like, yeah, OK, I'm going to do that. So I came out and reverse swept one. The reverse sweep, beautiful shot from Kawaja. You know, trying to save a match, it's not usually the way to go about things, but that's how I was going to do it, because I had that in my head. Yes. To stick to a game plan, the reverse sweep against Yassi Sharp, regardless of what's happening around you, it was extraordinary. If he gets out the first time he tries a reverse sweep, he's going to cop some grief. But he's committed to it, and he stayed committed to it until, until the very end. Goes back, works it into the gap, and there it is. It's 100 for Usman Khaja. His first against Pakistan, what a knock under pressure. He is absolutely loving it. He should be very proud of this century. The feeling of getting a 100 for Australia is unbelievable. It's a relief, because I knew myself that I could do it, but it doesn't matter whether you know you can do it, you still got to do it. And having Rach in the stand, she's just there always. She knows that that's how I want to play my cricket. She's just there to remind me to just relax and enjoy it. And you know, you know that it's not going to last forever. So there's no point worrying about anything else further on. As I said, the hardest thing is to stay in the present. Um, and she helps me to do that. To bat like you did for nine hours against spin bowling on a turning wicket, oh, I, was, I was so pleased for him. Usman Khawaja played one of the, the greatest innings I think I've ever seen in, in tough conditions. Just the concentration and power that he showed to bat in that heat for that long was, was extraordinary. And I thought, one, it took a lot of courage when you're trying to play for a draw to play that way, and, um, and two, showed such a high level of skill. The captain comes at the crease, Tim Payne, but it's not about runs, it's about playing out the remaining overs. My focus was just pure survival that day. I was just trying to keep it out as much as I could. Oh, my goodness me. I didn't have too many plans, to be honest. Oh, oh. Pain slips over. He's under enormous pressure at the moment. We talk a lot about playing the Australian way, which is when your back's to the wall, you, you fight and you, and you do everything in your power to, to change momentum or, or win a game for your country. Oh, this is how you hang in there and you, you find any way to get through a situation. That's what fighting is. I made a conscious effort that day not to look up at the scoreboard or the overs remaining. And it was amazing when you do that, actually, how quickly the time started to go by. I wasn't fussed on scoring runs. It was just purely about trying to spend some time. And I knew while, whilst I was out there with Usman, I felt reasonably confident that we could get it done. <laughs> Was that high? That will be the question there. Going upstairs. Oh, yes. yes! Not out. Such a fine line in this game. When you're a player, you've got to give 100% attention to the next ball. But as a coach, you sort of tend to ride off every single ball. Yeah, it was a nervous time there. Yeah. 15 overs to be bowled. Anything can happen, but at this stage, Australia look hot favourites to draw this. Oh! Appeal and gone! And it's the Centurion who's been dismissed. Oh! Take a magnificent piece of fielding. Wickets falling in heat for Australia. Pakistan need two wickets. Or most dramatic turnaround. Lino came out, I remember he was so nervous and he, tr he always tries to act like he's not, but he was, he was packing them. To be honest, I was just talking about watching the in-betweeners with Payne and having a pizza. 50 up for Tim Payne, the captain of Australia. And raise the bat slightly, but he won't be thinking about it. He'll be thinking about getting this team over the line. When you're captain, there's more responsibilities. Tim Payne is like Albert Jacker, you know, the way he batted at the end there. It was just, it was honestly, it was brilliant. He's Tasmanian. Uh, they're tough. So it all comes down to the last. One over remaining. 
I was sitting next to jail probably for the last three hours, I reckon. I was, we weren't allowed to move. Jail was like, we've been doing well in these spots, stay there. Oh, that's a nice start. Oh, Tim Payne wants the single, does he? <laughs> oh, he's coming back for two. Payne started taking a couple of runs. He both just got blocked out the draw and he's looking after the average. He's taken two. Oh, nice bowling again. Tim Payne wants more runs. Then he's knocked it again. He's gone two again. They started taking runs in the last over and <laughs> that's when I started to get a bit nervous. So far, so good for Tim Payne. Three balls remaining. Can Australia do it? Can they hang on? It would be an unbelievable effort if they could. When you're looking to defend every ball, you know the ball, every ball is going to be in, in here close, and so you don't want to pop one up because they, they catch everything and even just their chat and, you know, they, they're quite excitable and they were up for it. You can hardly watch. Oh, catches the outside edge. It's so close. This is the ball. If Tim Payne can survive this, Australia will have made uh, the great escape. Come on, Come on, Come on. Oh, and he's done it. This is how you play tough and you scrap. And to be in a different situation where the win was out of the question, it was. Uh, it was, it was pretty special. <laughs> to achieve what we had achieved, which does not happen in those conditions very much, which is to bat an extraordinary amount of overs in the fourth innings of a game, for where our group had came from, what we're trying to build, was I thought was really important and kept the series alive. So proud of everyone in this room. Well done. That's it. Just so proud of you. All those people who wrote us off, and wrote some of you individually off and wrote us off. White noise, eh? So we keep it at white noise, keep doing what we're doing, we'll be OK. But I'm so proud of everyone. Well done. Well done. He said it, didn't he? We're definitely in the box seat. We had the game one before we even left last night because he was strong. <laughs> well done, buddy. I think more than winning the test match, a fighting draw, which in some circumstances might have been declared as a heroic draw. Yeah. Drawing on a batsman who batted selflessly, compellingly throughout a day, and then the captain who guided Australia to safe harbour. As storylines, it hit the perfect tones for the starting point of a new era.